Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my morning chair in our hostel. I love this green chair, it's very comfortable. So I thought I'd do the intro from this beautiful chair this morning. As some of you may know, we are in Wellington, Windy Wellington, and we are going to grab some breakfast this morning. But one of the coolest things about Wellington is, has all these really, really cute, like, kiosks like kind of built into the wall and there's like a really famous street and they've got heaps of food like Wellington is known for basically food 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 drink 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 beers breweries all that kind of stuff so we're really going to make the most of this while we're here but we are going to grab some breakfast this morning and then I think we're going to go over to I think it's a wetter workshop it's basically where they filmed well not filmed but they created all the characters for like Lord of the Rings, District 9, The Hobbiton I'm very very excited for the day so on that note guys let's get started so welcome to Eva Street. This is actually one of the tastiest little lanes in Wellington. Have all of these cute little kiosk places where you can just grab something from the window. Now we've heard of this really really cool peanut butter place which we're going to go and check out and the chocolate factory which we're going to check out a little bit later. But now it's time to grab some food. Okay, so we have come here to a cute little place called the Fix and Fog. Now it's basically just like a little kiosk just at the window and they do the most amazing peanut butter. So you can get like peanut butter on toast. I've gone for the, it's kind of like a wild berry one. It's got banana and like a chocolate peanut butter on the bottom with some berries on the top. Look how good that looks. Now it's time for the taste test. That's actually really, really good. change of planes we were gonna go to the Weta workshop however they have the books the tools all booked for this afternoon so we decided to come to the beehive that's New Zealand Parliament they do free tours every day and I'm so excited to go and see what goes on inside the Parliament I hope Justin is here to say hi Okay, so we are here inside the New Zealand Parliament and we're about to go on our tour at 2 o'clock. I'm unsure of how much we're going to be able to film inside here because obviously it is the New Zealand Parliament, but I'm so excited to go on this tour. So when you come to the information centre inside the building, they give you that little badge with the tour information. So we know we are going to be Tim T. We're going to be able to see most of the place of the Parliament apart from the deba debating room. Because apparently they are discussing something very important today. I wish I could have my say, you know. Yes, that's what I agree. That's how it's going to be. And that's it. Oh, it's over here, guys. Everyone quiet. I need to talk to my friend Jacinda. I think you rock. <laughs> Hey guys, 
guys so we just finished the tour and I have to say that is not what I was expecting at all like the tour itself was just amazing we are currently just sitting outside the parliament building <laughs> right now this is where they are having a live debate like literally at the moment we got to go inside the cabinet room it goes from about 2 so until cool. 10 and they're actually having a live debate at the moment Jacinda was in there like this is just crazy to think and it's all like complete Victorian style inside nothing that I have seen in New Zealand before like all the chandeliers it reminded me of like an English palace inside yeah. you can't film anything inside obviously but I do highly recommend it's free and it's probably the best thing in Wellington we've done so far yeah I mean um not going to talk about politicians in here. I did want to see Jacinda, which was really, really cool. But the thing is, it's so important to understand about the nation. Like for me, that is not from New Zealand. On the start, you've got a video that explains exactly how the government goes. Like what does people vote for and how the, the structure of it, you know, which I didn't know. That was really good. And New Zealand was the first place to let women to vote. I'm sure someone like all of you guys saw on the media just seemed to like breastfeeding while she's being like a prime minister, you know. And I think it's important as well what you see on the tour means a lot how the the country is run. Mm -hmm. So we were talking about inside, they literally let us walk yeah. around the parliament and see everything yeah. that's going on. There's nothing hide. Yeah. You can go anywhere anytime. So well, we were walking down Amazing the stairs. Amazing experience, highly recommend, yeah. We just come from the sitting where we saw all of them debating and we came down the stairs and there was a live press conference going on and we were just able to walk behind, you know, like we were able to kind of just walk around the parliament and I've never had that experience before. So it was awesome, absolutely awesome. So we have come here to another food place. This place is called Ekim's. Now I've been recommended this place to have the best burgers in Wellington. So of course we had to come and pay a visit. This place is so, so quirky. It's basically like an old van and he's like converted it into obviously a burger place. So he makes all the burgers inside the van. Everything is graffitied and the, like the decor around here is amazing. It's basically like old desk chairs and it's like real vintage. It reminds me of like an old yard kind of thing, but it's just like everywhere you look and the surrounding is just amazing. So I can't can't wait to try these burgers. And look how delicious this looks. I just took one bite and honestly it is amazing like such a good burger highly highly recommend. Alrighty guys, we have just arrived back at the hotel. That is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed another day in Wellington. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so you can see the rest of our Wellington adventures. As always, I'll see you next week. Bye!